Do you want to make 1 million Kenya shillings? That is $10,000. So if you're in, not from Kenya, 1 million is $10,000. Do you want to make $10,000? You know, when you start making such kind of money when you're trading, that is the time you can live the life you want. Let me tell you, making $10,000 is not for a specific people. God can lift you like Joseph. You know, Joseph was lifted from prison and he became someone great in the land so it is not a, ma a matter of do i deserve or is it all like am i worth it let me tell you ask david he was just from the ground and when they were anointed the brothers were being anointed he could not even appear anywhere but god that's what he chose that's the person he chose so the question is have you ever dreamt of making one million or ten thousand dollars in a single trade if the answer is yes, this video is for you. So what you'll do, you will watch this until the end and now comment down below. Or even you can comment even before finishing. I want you to comment, I'm ready for my $10,000. I'm ready, if you're in Kenya, you can say, I'm ready to make that 1 million Kenya shillings. If you're in another country, just convert $10,000 in your currencies. But we can say, I'm ready to make my first $10,000 using this strategy, why? When you start speaking out, when you start proclaiming, you see, I keep telling you Forex is spiritual and whatever you say, you, you know, if you keep saying, oh, I cannot make it, Forex is hard, that's the energy you are releasing. So the energy we are releasing when you are watching this video, I want you to comment that I am ready to make my first $10,000. And let me tell you, once you make your first $10,000, life will not be the same again you will now be able to even scale higher and make your first $100,000. That is 10 million Kenya shillings. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the strategy that we are using, we are using one candle resistance. And also, we are not only using one candle resistance, we'll be using a pattern. I told you the two patterns that can make you 1 million Kenya shillings or $10,000 is either a double top or a double bottom. So it's either you're trading a double top or a double bottom. So in this case, we are trading a double top. So when, when we are trading a double top, we ask ourselves some certain question. So where is our double top? Is our double top on an uptrend or is it on a downtrend? So once you ask yourself such a question, downtrend. So if I ask myself, is my double top on an uptrend or downtrend? If my double top is on an uptrend, of course, it will not be uh, be easy to trade why double tops on an uptrend tend to to reach half tend to just have obstacles so this is hard to trade it and double tops on downtrend seems to be easy because downtrend is a sell and double tops is a sell so you need first to understand what you are doing so once you find that i'm trading a double top on an uptrend i am not ready to uh, I'm, I'm ready to look for any obstacle. So your mind will be very alert. Again, a double top on an uptrend will change from a double top to a cup and handle. And I think I did lesson 39 when I was explaining of a cup and handle. So this one can bath cup and handle. So double top on an uptrend most, mostly bath cup and handle. Cup and handle. And then double tops on a downtrend, they do complete. These ones, they do what? A complete what? A complete double top. So it will go to TP1, 2, 3, 4, like that, complete double top. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to make that $10,000, of course, you need to be very alert on what the market is doing. There is no way you can see a double top and you don't know, by the way, a double top, first you have to categorize. Is it a double top on an uptrend? Is it a double top on a downtrend? A double top on an uptrend is hard. A double top on a downtrend is easy. A very hard double top can bag a cup and handle, which make it easy. You see, it was from hard to cup and handle. And now if you trade cup and handle, it becomes easy. You see, it becomes easy. And then if this one now is the one that is bathing a, a, a complete double top, it becomes easy. If the, the double top on an uptrend starts giving a cup and handle, that cup and handle will not be easy. So now, if you want to make the $10,000 in this strategy, you need first to understand how is my double top formed? 
I have come to realize any double top that has been activated from a one candle resistance, one candle resistance tend to work best than a candle that is a resistance that is very obvious. So one candle resistance, if it's a double top, tends to work best. So one candle resistance means, I'll give you an example. One candle resistance means this market, uh, the, there was a, let's say for instance, the market was going uh, up like that, up like that. And this market is, it's, let's see, I'm supposed to start from down. So the market was going on a downside and then this market comes back up. So what happens is that around here, there is like a green candle that is only one. So here we have like a green candle. That is what we say, uh, only one candle resistance. So there's green, and I think I'll do that. And then now that green candle is used as our resistance to give us a double, a double top. So double tops that are activated from one candle they are powerful than double tops that are multiple candles and i think i'll just do the example for you to understand what i mean so double tops if it's only one candle and then the activation it is becomes easy this double top that the people people ignore because it's only one candle but the banks use this one candle resistance so you can see first you need one candle resistance let me show you what i mean by one candle resistance so this one, this one, this is a two candle resistance. And you see, this is called a ranging resistance, red, green, red, green. This is a ranging resistance. Yes, it's a resistance, but it's a ranging resistance. Why? We have a green, red, green. So it's a ranging resistance. These are two candle resistance. So after two green candles, we get a red. So this is a two candle resistance. But this one is a one candle resistance. Can you see now the difference what I'm saying? This is a one candle resistance. So we had only a green candle making a resistance. And now this one is a resistance that is obvious because it's the peak of that area. So many people will think the market will come here because it's a, the peak and they will not think that the market can come here, tap the one candle and go down. So that's what I mean by one candle resistance. So let's and let's check another one. Let's check another one. So this is this is three candle resistance. It's obvious because of course you're seeing buyers are attempting. This is arranging resistance, it's obvious. So a one candle resistance is where only a green candle appears like this one. You see this one is one candle resistance. That's what I'm saying. When a double top forms by one candle resistance, it's very powerful, very powerful guys. So this is a one candle resistance. This is how a one candle resistance. So the market might come here and create a double top by that one candle resistance. So even if now you are getting from one candle resistance, trust me, very powerful. Now what will happen is that you need to understand if this is the strategy that will give you money, you need to understand how do I trade it? So first we will ask ourselves, the resistance that is being formed, is it from a one candle resistance? And again, if your double top forms, is it a double top on an uptrend or downtrend? So that you can know, is it hard or, or another thing? And then from now, from a one candle resistance, you need to understand the double top that is being formed here. You need to ask yourself, is it only on one time frame? One time frame, double top. Because if it is multiple time frame, it will be one time frame double top. So you see, there are so many ask, questions you ask yourself. So let's let's start. Now is the time we are sitting. I'm showing you how to make your first $10,000. Why, if you are sure of this strategy, you will, you will be able to scale your position to a place of it's either you make it or make it. You know, you have to comment down below. Forex, it's either you make it or make it. You cannot give Forex trading an option. Comment down below and say, it's either I make it or I make it. So you're not giving it a position. You so see, many people give Forex trading an option. You say, it's either I make it or I lose. No, we are not giving a losing chance here. It's either I make it or I make it. It's either I make $10,000 or I make $10,000. So there's no option. You know, when you have the mind of Christ, the Christ in you will be able 
to scale to heights that you can never even imagine. So we have, the market is going on an uptrend and we can see there's a resistance here and it is broken. Can you see? So there's an obvious resistance. So what happens when the obvious resistance get broken, people give up on this tree. But what they don't understand is that here's an obvious resistance. You can see this resistance was very, very powerful. Why? Because it was tested how many times? That times. So many people thought if the market comes to this area, it might get rejected. So once the market breaks that resistance, what happens? Majority will give up on that trade. What they don't understand, yes, the market has broke that resistance, but we have a one candle resistance. This is what I'm saying. When you have a one candle resistance, there's a green candle followed by a red candle and the market drops. So you see, we have a one candle resistance. There's green and then red, 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 red. So this green candle, that is our resistance. So we'll put, we'll put two lines. The first line is at the wick and the second line is at the body. So what has happened at that one candle, this is now what I mean by one candle resistance. If you first identify that my resistance came, you see a double top that is formed around here. It is not strong, let me tell you. This double top is not strong. Why? The resistance itself, if you ever trade a double top with such resistance, most probably that trade does not give you entry. Why? The resistance has been, and it cannot be a double top because this is one attempt, two attempts, that attempt, and then for it can be like four times uh, pattern that has been tested. A double top means only two attempts in that area. So, now you understand what I mean by one candle. So once we have um we have that area like that, I'll come and put this box. And you can see we have first activation, is, which is our first attempt. And then we have a second activation. Let me remove this. So I have my first activation, first attempt, which is my first bottom. So that's how a double bottom is got first bottom. And then I have what? My second attempt. This is my second attempt. Second attempt. Second bottom. You see? Second bottom. So I have my first bottom, second bottom. So both of these, that's what we call a what? Possible double, bot, uh, double top. So Ah, I'm saying double bottom, sorry. <laughs> First top, aish, aish, what is wrong with me? First top, and then second top. I think I love this pattern, so I confuse a lot. Second top, so I will have a possible double top. So once you have a possible double top, guess what? We are trying to look for our neckline. So... This is our neckline, guys. And then we get what? Our half. So the next question we are asking ourselves, is this double top on an uptrend or a downtrend? See, that's what we have said. So we are going step by step. So what do you think, guys? Comment down below. What do you think? Do you think this double top is on an uptrend or a downtrend? What do you think? Have you commented? What do you think? Is it on an uptrend or downtrend? So when this market is coming all the way, this is our neckline. What do you think is happening? Who is stronger? When the neckline is further from the, from the tops, automatically it means that market is on an uptrend. So the market from, uh, from, uh, from months behind, the market has been buying. So this is an uptrend. So what is the conclusion, guys? If you find that a double top on an uptrend, if you find a double top on an uptrend, what have we seen? You see, these are the things that I, I tell you, you have to have them in your fingertips because you'll be excited with this double top, but you fail to understand a double top on an uptrend, it's hard to trade. A double top on an uptrend, it's not, it does not reach half. The fact that you know a double top on an uptrend most of the time does not reach half. The fact that you know a double top on an uptrend, the powerful pattern is a, the powerful pattern is the, it is, we call what the powerful pattern is the cup and handle. So yes, I'm looking at this pattern, but I'm thinking because it's an uptrend, 
I think the most powerful pattern here is this cup and handle. Why? Because the cup and handle is the continuation of the trend. The cup and handle is the, the, the continuation of uptrend because if I get a cup and handle, the market is suggesting it will continue to buy, you see. So once you understand that, even in early stages of trading, you'll, you are closer to your $10,000. So yes, you can trade this, but you're trading with a point of knowing that I'm not trading like to the half, I'm trading to a place of understanding that it can even change to a cup in handle. Now, after you understand that this double top, the power lies on the cup and handle, you need to understand another thing is the double top on one time frame or not. So I'll come here and place my zones. I want to mark it to see if I flip on the daily, do I have the same pattern? Because if it is still on the daily, I have no business trading on flower. I will flip to go and trade on the daily. But if it's not on the daily, I will glue it to the four hour. So if I go to the daily, I want you to comment down below. Do you think the double top is on the daily? Can you see anywhere there's a resistance? So that one candle resistance on four hour, it's no longer on the daily, making that double top very powerful. Even if it is on an uptrend, it's still powerful. Sellers can attempt to come and trade for a while. They can come to try to push the market. These are the, some of the things you are marking and highlighting for your $10,000 a goal. So by the time you are looking at this area, and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a place where you are putting a position like this, like you are attempting to trade such a strategy using a standard lot. Because once you have a, a, a very good setup, let me tell you, lot, lot is the only thing that will make you gain more money in the market. Once you have a skill, you cannot put a micro lot thinking, oh, the micro lot will make you rich. The first thing is you stick to my videos and you are able to amass every skill. Once you get the skill, you are able to scale out to a good lot size. So you can see, number one, the double top is not available on the daily, meaning you are not restricted on how to trade it on four hour. Number two, you already know that if the double top on the daily, on the four hour ha is on an uptrend, already you are thinking this market cannot, I'm not thinking it will come to the neckline. So I'm not even targeting to the neckline. If I get a, or if I get a, a, a position to enter, I will look for any obstacle that this market can stop. So the first obstacle is this one, and the second obstacle is this one. So if I get an entry, those will be my take profit. My take profit cannot be half. Why? Even when I look at this trade, RBS is one thing. You know, I have not taught RBS in the YouTube. That's why I don't these days uh, pay attention on it on my free content. But if I was speaking to my student, the fact that it does not have RBS, it's not a must for you to even target her. The fact a trade does not have RBS, you will look for any obstacle and that becomes your take profit. Half becomes your, it becomes your no-go zone because the fact that the market has no RBS, the fact that it's a double top on an uptrend, the fact that this market can change to a cup and handle makes you now think of how do you target. So once you understand all these things, why would you not make your $10,000? Why would you not make a living out of, of, of trading? Why would you not make your $500, your $1,000, your $5,000? So let's see how much you'd have made. So you already understand, if I have a double top on a four hour that is not on daily, which strategy am I using? I'm using CSB. So CSB all means current support break. So I'm waiting for a, 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 a support for the market to break. So at this time, I don't have a support. So you wait for a red candle to create a support. So that is a red candle. So you're waiting for a red candle to break. <clears throat> so we get a red candle. So at the end of the day, first we get a creation of a red, of a support. So anytime you need to understand, before even you come here, how is support uh, created? Formation of support. I think I'll do that video so that we don't leave gaps. I have already done formation of resistance. So already when a red candle is followed by a green candle, we have a support. So we are waiting for 
this support to be broken. So wait for current support break. So WCSB means wait for current support to break. And then as you are waiting, let's see what happens. Let's see. So the current is not being broken. That is your current support break. Can you see how it has broke very clear? Understanding that this market is not a uh, is understand that this market is not on the daily. It is giving you every chance. Now I want to show you how many pips that you'll be targeting. If you enter sell right now and you target to the next zone, that is 300. If you target to the other zone, that is 360 pips. And you see the only mistake you can't do is to target to her. Don't target to her. So if you target to the first zone, you're getting 300 pips or 293 pips. If you had put lot of one, you will make $2,933. If you put lot of one, that's what you're making. You will make $2,903. Why? Because it's 293 pips. Imagine if you do a 10 lot. Imagine this is the trade you have been waiting for the whole of your trading career. Like you had said, if I get such a trade, I'm risking and putting all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> you see, there's a time you will tell yourself, uh, there's nothing, I, I, like I've lost enough. Even if you don't risk, I've already lost. Why can't I now risk on this trade that is promising? I've said the first take profit is that zone as you wait because you're hoping for a double bottom to happen there. So you enter the trade and that's what happens. So the market goes like that. Let's see, let's see what happens. Sell, sell. The market is dropping. And you can see the, when the take profit is hit, and you see the take profit is hit, you have your 300 pips. So at the end of the day, what you need to ask yourself, <clears throat> how would I always get so perfect trades? 300 pips, I have a possible double bottom. And this double bottom, you have to identify it is not on the daily. Can you see? We have to identify this double bottom is not on the daily. So that now we do CFB. So our first pattern, P1 was this one, and we are done with it. In fact, we knew it won't last any longer because it's on an up uptrend. So P1 is done. Now we are uh, budgeting for P2. We are hoping P2 will, will come to pass. So when you go to the daily time frame, <clears throat> we can see we don't have a double bottom on the daily. So we are hoping once we get an entry, we will trade P2 comfortably. Remember what I told you, the market loves P2 so much. It loves pattern two so much because it is hidden. Everyone is concentrating with P1. They will never know that the market has already changed. The chameleon has taken over. They don't know that. So uh, we get our current resistance. So we wait for a red candle. So as we are waiting, let's see what happens. We get our red candle. So we want to enter and we buy that market because of a double bottom. So by the time we are attempting to, to, to enter, you see, you are waiting, you are using your analysis to, you are using your strategy to get into the trade. So you can't force any trade. There's nowhere you're forcing the trade. You will be allowing yourself, let this trade give itself up so that I can be able to do what I can be able to trade. So as you're waiting, as you're waiting for the market, there is no way you can be able to say, let me enter. You can, et, you can also say, let me enter without that resistance getting broken. Why? Because there is a, there's a way the market can activate the second bottom which you know you can't know which bottom they will use but the strategy limits you to enter before they activate so as you're waiting you keep waiting and that's why my my strategy are very 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 accurate because as i'm waiting i'm waiting for this market to do what to break resistance number one or to give me an entry so i'm waiting for the market to break so you get this market to break and you're thinking, oh, this is a good chance for me to trade up to her. 
So this is what happens, guys. Once you get this double bottom, this is the double bottom you get. And this is our half. Number one, this double bottom does not have RBS. That is first red flag, no RBS. For me, I cannot be thinking, for me, I'm hoping they would have activated the second one. So there is no RBS. Second, yes, they have given me an entry, but what have they activated? They have activated the second pattern, the third pattern. So from P2, from P2, yes, there was attempt of us trading from P2. Yes, it's clear, but what they have activated, can you see they have activated what? P3. This is P3. So they have activated P3. How, 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 much do, how many people do you think they were blinded in this area? And that's why I tell people, if you want RBS strategy, you have to subscribe to my mentorship program. There is no shortcut. Why? RBS will give you in advance not to focus. The trades not to focus. Eh, I have said RBS. It's no RBS. There is no RBS. And RBS means no, uh, there's, uh, it means retest before signal. That's what it means. No RBS. So once the market, yes, the market has broke that resistance. It is rejecting at this area. But the question is, the question, guys, is, did it give us a, a very go ahead? So we cannot enter that trade. You cannot enter that trade. So let's see what happened after it says it has given you an entry. You see, if you don't listen to my teachings, if you think me charging you, I'm going against you. Um, you see, when you tell someone, I'm giving you this for free. But if you want for you to understand more, pay my course. If you think you can't pay my course, learn here for free and don't keep asking me, how do I trade RBS? No, I cannot tell you RBS. For me, I knew I cannot trade this double bottom. Okay, you don't know about RBS, but see, I'm teaching you, if there's pattern three, why would you enter? Already pattern three is telling you there is a possible double top. And you can see that was the trap, guys. The P3, the double top, that was the trap. For me, I have seen it before it happens because I have sit, stayed with these patterns more than, like, you see, when you stay with patterns long enough, you will know. They just need one candle to remove everyone who was on this street. Yet, they want to buy the market, but because they have sold you an idea of this market will buy, they have already given you a thirst of buying. And you, you don't look at the things. For me, if I get my double bottom, yes, it's not on the daily, but the second thing, does it have RBS? Okay. Yes, it has broken my current resistance, but has it activated a new pattern? Because you might be trading this double bottom, but the banks, they are on the double top. So it has activated a new pattern and immediately you enter. Guess what? Let me tell you how many pips are this. How many pips? So you're taking on a drawdown of 278 pips. 278 JPY pairs are not a joke. So 278 pips. Now, which pattern are we on? Pattern four. By the time we are pattern four, everyone now thinks this market is a sell. Why? They will concentrate with this pattern and they are thinking that's what the market makers want. The market makers want just to lose you and give you an idea of a pattern. So we have the pattern four, which is a double, top, double bottom. So possible double bottom. That's what we have. A possible double bottom. And this possible double bottom, let's check. Let's check our half again. So this is our half, guys. This is our half. And when I'm measuring this, guess what, guys? My double bottom has RBS. This time, I'm not even worried. Why? Because I know now this is what they will use. It has RBS. So the first one didn't have, this one has. I'm waiting for current resistance to be given. Why? Because I'm waiting here for CRB, current resistance. We are now in part one four. Don't lose, don't lose uh, the, the track, CRB, current resistance break. So you're waiting for the market to give you current resistance. You wait, you wait, you wait. Nothing is happening. You're not getting a, a resistance to be broken. You wait.
So we are waiting for current resistance to be broken. And this is, uh, we so far we don't have a current resistance of this uh, double, double bottom. And guess what? As we are waiting for current resistance to be broken, they break our half. The green candle breaks our half. Guys, what do you think this means? When you have RBS and the half is broken, the market is headed to the neckline. So we have come here. Remember the first trade you entered and made 293 pips. Let's see how much you'll make here. And I, I'm showing you how you'll make your $10,000. So how many pips are that? 306. So from 293, let's call them 300 pips. And now you have gained 306. Already that is 300. And in the same pattern, this is 600 pips already. If that trade goes up uh, in your direction, you will make 600, and 600 pips so far. So the market continues. So you have entered a buy comfortably. Why? The double bottom, it's only on daily. So you have entered a buy and the market continues to go up. It has retested. And within no time, guys, within no time, what do you think has happened? The market is not a joke. Like the market comes up, gets you to 300 pips in one candle of four hours. It was an easy trade. And they break the neckline. What else do you want? What else? So this pattern, so you have 300 pips already. You have 300 pips and then you get 300 pips for this double top that you need to not end. You get a double bottom, another 300 pips. Neckline has been broken. Already you know that this market, if neckline breaks, it is going this distance. It's going this distance. So in a single pattern or in a single setup, already there is in store for you. So much is in store for you. So you come and we are targeting up to the half. So you know if neckline breaks, if this neckline breaks, the market surely goes to the half, to the half of the distance. That's 223. So here you can have two trades. The market likes retesting back to the neckline before it does what? Before it goes up. So you can have two trades, one trade, immediately and the other one at the retest area. So you have two position. One position are there, which will make 200 pips. The next position, if it retests, let's see the distance, if it retests, the distance is 93 pips. So you are thinking, if it can retest those 93 pips, I can still make another, how many pips? 312. So you have, if this trade goes in your direction, you will make how many pips? 300 plus 200 because you have two position. Let's see if they retested. And you see, when you have a double bottom, which is pattern four, the half is where we reach. I cannot continue once we reach half. Why? Because now I'll be talking on another trade. And will be uh, exhausting because they have to manipulate because once people now realize this is a double bottom is when half is reached. That's why I tell people don't, don't trade after half, uh, the half of the distance reaches. So let's see what happens. You enter the trade. So we are hoping it can come down to take our, uh, to activate our trade. Let's see if it came down. So already you have one trade ongoing as you wait for the market to come down and retest. You see, it is ranging at that area. So we are waiting for that retest. So we will see if it retested. And retest is not a must. Can you see we got an activation? So you have another trade. Having this in mind, most markets will come to retest this area. So let's see, did it, after retest, what happened? Did it go up? Did it go up? Did it go up, guys? Did it go up? Was our tech profit hit? Yes. And I think that's the end of this tutorial. Why? I have shown you how you can make $10,000. We will start from here. Entry was this level. How much did we make here? You entered, you made how much? You made 280 pips. So this is 280 pips. So let me count it for you, 280 pips. So that, you know, people, they are like Thomas. They don't even believe. 
you got a double bottom, pattern four. So pattern two and three, you didn't enter. Pattern four up to the neckline, you got how many pips? So you entered here up to the neckline, you got 316 pips. So 316, 316 pips. So we continue counting. And then the neckline was broken. You entered two position. One, you entered when immediately, because you knew the market, it's not a must, it is a test. So the one, you got 215 pips. The first trade is that you entered immediately, 215 pips plus. So let me make this bigger so that you can know what I'm doing. And then there's a buy limit you had done. You see, when you have confidence with your trades, you will even do a buy limit. And a buy limit was, let's say 309 pips, 309 pips. Now we want to count, would you have made your $10,000? That is the question of today with a single setup, 309. So let me take my calculator and we are starting to, uh, to calculate. So the first one is 280 pips, 280 pips. The second one is 316 pips, 218 pips, then 309. So this one, you have got 1,000. 123 pips. So tell me, why would you not make $10,000 if every entry year you entered with one lot? If you entered with if you entered with the micro lot, you'd have made $100. If you entered with the mini lot, you'd have made $1,000 plus. But if you entered with the one lot, you'd have made 1,123 pips. So what I have decided to do, because for me, I like preaching or telling you things that I'm doing myself. I will look for a setup like this and every entry I will use one lot. And I want now to show you with an example that I, you see when I do these things, I don't record, but I have told God because even Jesus was doing miracles and those miracles, they made you, they made people even to believe. Like when he, he, he raised Lazarus, people believed in the, in the spirit of resurrection. So by before then people yes knew Okay, he can resurrect, but you see, even he resurrected Lazarus after four days being dead. So there's a point of where people believe when you come with examples. So what I've decided, once I spot such a pattern, I will start recording from pattern one, pattern two to the end. And when I reach $10,000, I'll come with a, like a, a documentary. So that's, that will help you to understand that is doable. So I have done it and have known how you can scale your profits. And if I have done it and I'm your mentor, you can also do it. But people make a mistake thinking, for me, I was looking this from four hour time frame. Let me tell you, and I'll tell you today, I don't check things from four hour time frame. When I come to decide to start trading four hour, I already know where monthly time frame is up to, what is happening to monthly. Me, I'm not a lower time trader, I'm a higher time trader. And what that means is that when I go to monthly time frame, I already knew that this market is a buy. The market is supported. Buy is being supported. Why? When I move to higher time frame, you see my trades are around here. But let me tell you, let me give you a, an example. Yes, my trades are, you can see this is an area that I'm trying to trade, but I already knew that I have a double bottom on monthly. And then it had a neckline. This is the neckline. So already I knew the neckline was broken and this market will go this distance. So it's a point of understanding how, how the market moves from a higher time frame. Why? Because you need to be supported by higher time frame before you are going to lower time frame. So for me, I believe even if I'm selling short-term sell, if I'm buying, I'm being supported by the market. So it was possible only because from higher time frame, the buyer the buy was being supported. That's what made this trade easily. So, and then again, understanding my patterns, understanding once I spot pattern one, and I told you, I keep telling you how to spot pattern one is the one that is not on the one time frame. Pattern one is not always where the direction of the market. Pattern one and pattern two, they are not what the direction of the market. From pattern three, that's when you start realizing what the market wants to do. So from pattern three, pattern four, you will be able to see things clearly. So with this, if you master this, 
Trust me, you can build your career. Trust me, you can be able to make profit, crazy profits you have never thought. So I want you to comment down below again and say, I am, I am capable of making $10,000. I believe I can make my first $10,000. Comment down below, share this video. I told you, if we hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm ready to show you those strategies. I'm able to show you those strategies. Why? I believe God will have given me more strategies to be able to release these old strategies. So once you, once we reach 100,000 subscribers, I'm trusting on God. If we reach 100,000 subscribers, it will be easier for me to teach you these strategies that I keep saying is for my paid students. And God will have given me even more advanced strategies for my students. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have learned one or two, three things and go make your first $10,000. Bye-bye and I love you so much.